four realms of the earth, also known as four spheres of life, are Lithosphere. It provides the surface of the earth and the ocean floors. Hydrosphere. Provides water in all forms. Atmosphere. The atmosphere provides air. Biosphere. It supports life and allows life to flourish. The Atmosphere Atmosphere is a blanket of gases surrounding the Earth and held in place by Earth's gravitational pull. The atmosphere extends up to approximately 1600 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Density of the atmosphere varies with height. As we go up, the atmosphere thins considerably until it gradually merges with space. Composition of air The air in the atmosphere consists of nitrogen 78.1%, oxygen 20.9%, argon 0.9%. Traces of several other gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, hydrogen, helium, neon, ozone and methane, etc. Various layers of Earth's atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere is divided into five layers on the basis of changes in the temperature with height. Troposphere The troposphere is the first layer above the surface stretching from 8 to 18 kilometers. All human activities as well as the weather changes such as formation of clouds, rainfall etc. take place in this layer. Stratosphere it lies above the troposphere, extending up to a height of 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. The ozone gas in this layer protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Many jet aircrafts fly in the stratosphere because it is very stable. Mesosphere it lies above the stratosphere, extending up to a height of 50 to 80 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. It is the coldest part of the Earth's atmosphere, at minus 90 degrees Celsius. Meteors burn up in the mesosphere. Thermosphere It stretches from 80 to 500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. This layer contains electrically charged particles at the lower level. This layer, known as ionosphere, transmits radio waves back to the Earth. It is extremely hot in this layer. Exosphere it stretches from 80 to 500 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. This layer contains electrically charged particles at the lower level. This layer, known as ionosphere, transmits radio waves back to the Earth. It is the layer where the space shuttles orbit. Atmospheric Pressure Atmospheric pressure is the weight of air over us. At the lower level, air is dense, so the air pressure is high. If we climb higher, like going to the mountains, the air gets thinner and the atmospheric pressure gets considerably reduced. Biosphere Biosphere is that narrow zone where land, water and air come in contact with each other. Biosphere makes Earth a unique planet as life exists only in the biosphere. 
Different varieties of plants and animals live in different parts of the earth, depending upon the conditions in that part of the biosphere. The lithosphere The lithosphere is the solid upper crust or the outer part of the earth, like continents and ocean floors. In fact, this is where we all live on earth. It is about 100 kilometers deep from the surface of the earth. The lithosphere includes several landforms, such as plains, mountains, valleys, plateaus, and ocean floors. Continents 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 are large land masses separated by expanses of water. Seven regions recognized as continents are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. However, many of the seven continents are not land masses separated by water. Seven continents of the earth are as follows. Asia Asia is the largest and the most populated continent with a population of over 3.8 billion people. It covers about one-third of the total land area of the earth. Europe Europe is the second smallest continent. Europe shares its boundaries with the Arctic Ocean in the north and the Atlantic Ocean in the west. Africa It is the oldest inhabited territory on the earth. It is the second largest continent occupying 20% of the land area of the world and is the second most populous continent. North America North America is the third largest continent with respect to area. It shares its borders with the Atlantic Ocean to the east and Pacific Ocean to the west. It lies completely in the western and northern hemisphere. South America South America is ranked fourth in area and fifth in population. It is situated between the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. Most of its area lies in the Southern Hemisphere. Antarctica Antarctica, also called the White Continent, lies completely in the Southern Hemisphere. It is the second smallest continent in the world after Australia. It covers the South Pole, lies in the Antarctic Circle, and is surrounded by Southern Ocean. Australia Australia is the world's smallest continent. It is a country as well as a continent, and is known as Continent Country. Hydrosphere The hydrosphere is the world of water that surrounds all of us. Anything related to water is part of the hydrosphere. It includes all the water on the earth in any form such as solid form, snow and glaciers, liquid form such as oceans, seas, rivers, lakes and underground water. Gaseous form, such as vapors and moisture in the atmosphere. 97% of total water on the earth is found in oceans and seas. Oceans 
Oceans are very large water bodies, separated by continents. There are five oceans on the Earth. The five oceans are Pacific Ocean. It is the largest ocean. Atlantic Ocean. It is the second largest ocean with continents of North America and South America on its west and the continents of Europe and Africa on its east. Indian Ocean. It is the third largest major ocean. It is the only ocean to be named after a country. It is bordered by Asia in the north, Australia in the east, and Africa in the west. Southern Ocean, or the Antarctic Ocean. The large mass of water surrounding the continent of Antarctica is known as the Southern Ocean. It is in fact an extension of the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and Atlantic Ocean. A large part of the ocean remains frozen throughout the year. Arctic Ocean. It is the smallest ocean. It surrounds the North Pole and remains frozen for most part of the year. In addition to these major oceans, there are branches of oceans called seas. The largest seas are South China Sea, the Caribbean Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea.